Hello, welcome to Indie Tutorials. My name is Guillermo and I would like to thank the Patreon supporting this channel. Let's start by opening the Org Framework Editor and on the last video we added the default start and end event uh, battle events. So click now on the player spot and make sure that we have the Y rotation then for the player spots we have by default three members the zero member is the leader if we scroll down then we need uh, to change the offset of this point point on member one let's say three on the X and four in the Z and for the member two let's make a minus three on the X and leave it for on the set. I scroll down to set up the enemy spot and on the offset let's add a 5.5 in the set axis. Save your changes and now let's navigate to the combatants combatants group. Here uh, we have defined on early videos the schemata group containing the red schemata and the blue schemata's combatant. Later on we'll be adding a third one to complete the three schemata battle style. Open the staging scene. We're going to use this scene to trigger the battle. Make sure it's enabled in the build settings. Select the combatant spawner. We have the chomper enemy. Let's find it, the prefab and make a few changes to it. Select the body game object and press F to frame it in the scene view. The idea here is that uh, during the battle we want to disable the detection HUD that we made in our earlier videos. Select the game object, the root game object, and add the game listener component that we created earlier. Then click on the plus button to add a new event and name it on battle start. Next, let's find the scriptable Unity event that we made in the previous video and drag it into the game event slot. Click on the response to add a new response and drag the detection HUD to it and select the function game object set active and leave it unchecked. Click on the plus button again and it will duplicate it the first one, so let's rename the on battle end name and drag the on battle end event to the game event slot. And in this case, select the set active checkbox. That's it. Next, select the root game object and we are going to add an empty game object. Name it Battle Component and let's make a tweak in the transform. So let's say the position to 0.5 and the scale increase it to 1.72 on all axes. Then add a sphere collider to it. And make sure the is trigger is checked 
then change the radius to 0.7 Next, add a battle component to this game object, and yes, you guess it, this is going to be like a, a walking battle area. So make sure that uh, in this, well, use scene ID is turned off and change the battle type to real time. Uncheck can escape, check look at enemies, keep at center. And from grid, uh, grid use types, select no grid. Then for start type, select a trigger enter. Leave a start by collider and a start by trigger checked. But also check a little bit down the start by other. Select as well, check name tag, name tag and is tag and the name of the tag is going to be weapon scroll down into the combatant settings and for this first combatant let's change the faction to enemies uncheck use group and select jumper you can leave the defaults as they are as Next, check on the add a new group and in this case leave it, uh, the faction to player, use group and the combatant group is going to be the schemas group, schemata group, sorry. In the battle spot settings, remember to check the combatant spots, to use the combatant position spots. Save your changes to the prefab and let's go back to the scene. Next, let's find the weapon prefab to change the tag to weapon. Select one of them and in the tag drop down, click on add tag. Then in the tags list, click on plus to add a new tag and name it weapon. Click save. Go back to the prefab and select the weapon tag. Do the same for the other prefab as well. Double check then that in the box collider we have in the weapons, the is trigger should be checked on both. So box collider, open the box collider component and make sure this trigger is checked on both. Let's make a quick test by hit play. We see Chomper in the same view above, but the camera is not rendering it in the game view. So we are dealing now with a ghost Chomper. Let's fix this issue. Select the uh, third person camera prefab and we can see that in the column mask we forgot to add the character layer here. But instead of making this change in the instance, let's go to the master prefab and make sure in the column mask we select character, character layer. Hit play to test again. And now we are ready to start the battle by hitting Jumper with the sword. But we need to make some little tweaks as well. To 
properly test uh, the save current music step we added in the battle start event we need to add a music player component to the scene so let's do that and uh, start type will be auto start select the play type to fade in and select for example the luxurian theme or other music you had and I would like to decrease the volume to half or 0.4 because a little bit loud for my taste Next I would like to start the battle actually with the red scabara, the equilibrium, equilibrium garb so let's uh, open up the start game event and on the join active group node change the combatant to red schemata save the event close the editor and hit play there we have our luxurious music so let's go to Jumper and start the battle by hitting him. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to uh, fix the locomotion to have a more in battle locomotion like a strafing move set. And of course, uh, if you like the content of this channel, please consider subscribing and see you in the next video.